Hey guys, welcome back to the first official uh, podcast on this channel. Today, we're just going to be talking about, you know, pretty much how the Dreams have been doing doing the, for the first three games of the season. I know I posted a bunch more games of the season so far. I think we're up to five or something. The last game that was played was versus the Rams. So, yes, that was the last game right now, currently. Um, but we're just going to be talking about some things that I talked about in the first three games um, of the season. So the first game was versus the Blue Hearts, as you can see on the screen right here, the highlights of that game. The second game was versus the Tigers. And the third game, I believe, was versus the Battle Apes. So I will be talking about that. And yeah, let's get to it. All right, so first, first the why uh, what am I saying? The YD Dreamers right now are having they have a great squad. They have a strong squad. I'm not, you know, concerned about them in any shape or fashion to be honest because this team is strong. They know how to play. They know what they're doing. They just I mean, you know, the first few games were a little confusing of course for them because it's a new squad. It's a new group of guys on this team for this season. But, you know, how it's looking so far, it's looking strong. You know, that first game versus, talk about that, that first game versus the, uh, the Cold Hearts. I mean, this OT Cold Hearts team is a very, you know, nice team to watch. You know, they have a bunch of small guys on this team. That was a great matchup. The OT, uh, the YNG Dreamers team is more... You know, they have a lot of small guys on the team, but they also have a fair amount of big men on that team. Um, so that was, you know, they have more strong, smaller guys on the team. It's not like even between both these, uh, these, you know, heights, but it is still, you know, a smaller team. And they I mean the the OT Coolarts. That's also a more smaller size team. And it was a good matchup, you know, you have Eli Ellis just, you know, destroying and doing what he needs to do to get this YG Dreamers team to win. And also, you have you, Trey Parker had an amazing game this game, the first game of the season for both teams. Opening night, you know, a, a rivalry matchup really came down to the wire let's just talk about that oh my gosh that was one of the most fun games to watch in this season so far the dreamers were down pretty much the entire game in, in until the last you know few uh the last quarter actually and when they started to pick more pick it up more you know start playing the ball more start playing more aggressive was not until really the end of the third quarter but mostly in that last quarter that fourth quarter that last quarter of the half and they came back eli ellis really led the team there being a team captain really doing what he needs to do to get this team to win the cold hearts were still sticking on a little bit don lewis came in clutch with two clutch threes to get that win i mean to get that the the dreamers over the hump and trey parker i mean he did not stop shooting he would not stop with the intensity on the floor but you know the dreams were able to get that win really played how they needed to play to get that win and to be honest the dreamers miss has has been missing a bunch of you know easy shots but who doesn't in this league you know and they're just kids you know so they're gonna have plenty of time to develop and get better at the game and you know it's gonna be it's gonna be you know terrific to see these kids grow up in front of our own eyes pretty much in this league so yeah that was the cold hearts game now let's just cut over to the tigers game which was the second game of the series of the season for this dreamers team now the dreamers faced off against the tigers in the second game of the season the dreamers have been on a long you know road stance right now they don't play home until the next i don't know i think they have two more games on the road i'm not completely sure 
I mean, but the dreams have been on, you know, the road for a while now. And I'm going against this new expansion team, the Tigers, or Tigris is their Greek name. I, It goes back and forth, I guess. I don't know. But see, this Tigers team is a bigger team, you know, compared to this Dreamers team. But the Dreamers really did not back down to a fight against this Tigers, these Tigers team uh, guys on this team. They fought pretty much, you know, they were missing a lot of shots, of course, which is, you know, it's the second game of the season, uh, second time, second time being out there on that giant court with all these fans in the stadium, and not to mention you're on a road game, and you're going against a team who's, you know, bigger than you in size. I mean, that's going to be a little nerve-wracking. I can see that. But this Dreamers team did not let up to the, f did not back down to the fight until pretty much and you know they started to get hot toward the end of the game they were trailing literally mostly the entire game uh until that second half where eli ellis and the dreamers decided to pick up the pace and they really started cooking toward that you know that second half and i mean they totally broke away from that that score you know um from being down most of the game really broke away toward that fourth quarter where the Tigers had no chance of coming back against this team. You know, Thomas, Eric Thomas, number four, as we just saw him on the screen, he is a great center forward. He's really going to have some, you know, um, some leadership on that Tigers team, really going to make an influence on the team. And... To be honest, he really just needs to lead that team. They're not, I mean, just to be one of the, you know, first expansion teams in the league, they're not a bad group of guys. You know what I'm saying? This is this this is a team who is strong, motivated, you know, doing what they need to do. Um, and there's really nothing else you can say about that. You know, the, I mean, there's just, you know, it's one of the four expansion teams that came to this league. It's either four or or three. Let me think about that. Yeah, four teams. You have the Owls, to Tigers. You have the Owls, Tigers, uh, Battle Apes, and Rams. So just to be one of the four, I will say this team is definitely one of the best dream, uh, in the league so far. And there's really no doubt in my mind about that. Now let's talk about this Battle Apes team. And the Battle Apes are not a bad group of guys. Except when they are. I mean, of course, you're going against. You guys are at home. I don't know why they had such str struggle. To be honest. I, I'm, I'm just going to say this straight up. We've played so far three. um, Three expansion teams out of the four expansion teams in the league right now we have not played the owls yet i'm looking forward to that game uh to see that game but you know we played three out of the four expansion teams in the league right now in ot league and the battle apes are on the lot oh, they're 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 the worst team we've played <laughs> they're the worst team we played we it was the score was like 25 something to like four in the end of the first quarter it was horrible and the Battle Apes, you know, they started to get hot toward the end, sort of. But they, you can't come back when you guys have been down the entire game. They had, did not have the score, leading score. They did not lead. You know, they never had more points in the uh, Dreamers the entire game. A bunch of their guys did not know how to shoot. There was bricks all night, turnovers all night, blocks. Uh, I mean, it was not a pretty sight to see. Yes, this Battle Apes team is led by... You know, the first woman coach in, o, uh, in OTE, um, Linda Marshall, is leading that t uh, that Battle Apes team as the head coach. And the no hate to her, it's just, you know, of course, it's their first game of the season going against the YNG Dreamers. It's a pretty tough way to start that season opener to be one of the new kids on the block. But a horrible showing out. There's really no way else, you know, nicer to put that. They could not get a shot off pretty much, you know, all game that will go in most of the time. Their their shot percentage had to be horrible. 
And, I mean, the Dreamers really just cooked him. Eli Ellis, of course, he's probably going to be the MVP of the league, how he's looking right now, which is cooking this team in a pan, sizzling, sizzling them away, chefing like Gordon Ramsay on them. And pretty much there's no easy way to say this, but if the Battle Apes do not pick it up soon, they're going to be at the last seed in the power rankings. And that is, you know, a guaranteed uh, Tommy, I don't even know this kid's name, Watkins, number 11, the redhead on this BA team. Um, You know, he's, he's a small kid. He's a starting point guard. He needs to get in the gym and start shooting and getting bigger because this guy was getting pushed around all game. He needs to hit that weight room, and he really needs to work on his shot because he could not make a shot pretty much the entire game and it was looking tough for him he made like three maybe four missed like 16 and you know he really needs to start working on his shot because you're the starter you're like you need to you're the starting point guard you're the leader of the team on the floor at that moment so you really need to start you know trying making the most of that opportunity and when you get open shots like they had some t like he had sometimes in the game, he made like one open shot, made one contested shot, and really could not hit any of the other ones. So yeah. Tough showing out for this team, but hopefully we'll we will see them again in toward the uh middle end of the season, so can't wait to see how they have recovered. And if they're still, you know, a team to beat or they're still just the easy win. Oh, so yeah guys, that's it for today. Hope you guys enjoyed the first episode of the Dreamers podcast here. Uh again, I just want to point this out. This is no this is just a fan season, fan thing on 2K that I'm doing because you know I adore uh the dreamers I enjoy I endure overtime so much doing all this, you know, good stuff to get these kids out in the world, really for the world to see them, how good they play. And also, you know, there's really no cool there's really no high school leagues like this. So it's just, you know, fun to see all the time. This is just a fan thing on um on two K. No hate to nothing. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed the po first episode of the podcast. I hope you guys enjoyed the videos on this channel. We will be posting a lot more. Overtime is doing a cool thing where they're going to have women's about women's basketball league toward the uh, end of summer, around August, they said. So it's, I'm going to probably, you know, do a little fan thing on that uh, toward around that time. Um but hope you guys, you know, enjoyed the videos and check out the main channel, the Video Game Fox 2023. And yeah, we also have we have, well we have two we have a lot of channels. we have the Video Game Fox 2023, which is the main channel. Then we have Joseph Bloodshed Foxy plays. I think that's the name. I'm not completely sure, but that is just the other channel. Uh, then we have. You know, John Jordan's Road to the Hall of Fame. That's the little 2K My Career TV show we have going on over there. Check that out if you want to see some fun stuff and listen to some cool music. Um, and then we have the Madden, you know, um, channel right there that we're trying to be posting more Madden stuff on there. Uh, it's pretty much just the entire Madden season. It's called Madden. Uh, I think it's called J, J Money or something. Madden season 2024. Check that out if you want to see some cool Madden highlights. And again, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed the content we've been putting out here. And we've been posting pretty much every single day for the past almost three months now on all diff all these different platforms. So, you guys have a good rest of your day. Have a good rest of your February. February is almost over. So, get get ready for March, baby. Spring is coming. And, yeah. Peace.